Hello, welcome Crafty Community. This is Ashley Prater with Ashley Creations, and I wanted to come on here and do a review from a, a Bleds on Amazon. It's a store on Amazon who reached out to me and wanted me to uh, do a review on some of their paper. Um, this is Timeless. Um, it's a 12 by 12 pack. Um, and they wanted me to, to do a review on it. And so I will do a little craft on here. First, I'm going to flip through. Sorry about the shine. Um, it's a timeless. 12 by 12 is acid free. This is a 24 sheet pack. It's one sided. Um, let's just take a quick flip through of it. It's so beautiful. I love it. Um, so rustic and, um, and I, I just love it. Um, so, I'm going to alter some little, uh, some of these little Dollar Tree notebooks. I'll probably just do one on video. But I'm excited to use this paper and do a little review. The paper feels very sturdy. And I'm just loving it. pretty it'll look good um to like do it on a uh, do a collage like on a do a backdrop on a like piece of wood and then um do a like a uh, mixed media work with it would be pretty and it looks like there's two of each pages so 12 different images. Oh, I love this one. So pretty. I hope you all are having a nice day nice summer um my kids are at summer school right now but they will be they have like um two more weeks left of summer school and then it is home for them and i've got lots of fun planned for them a lot of crafty stuff we're going to be doing i did some crafty stuff when uh christmas time was here and they loved it so i will do the same for summer I've actually got, uh, I, uh, we're doing, uh, with Dear Julie Julie's channel, we're doing a, uh, a junk journal challenge in July, and I think I'm going to let them participate in that with me. It was suggested that I try that, so I'm going to try that. It's going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes, but I think they'll enjoy that. They're always wanting to do my projects with me, so we'll see how that goes. All right, now let me choose which one I want to do. I think I want to do that one that I liked so well. Find it. I think it was this one right here as the front of my page. So, I need my ruler, my desk, is, or my table, rather, because I've had to kind of move into my dining room table right now. See, these are, it's going to be about two and a half. Four and three quarters, it looks like. Two and a half, three. 
we're going to go with five and a half by four and three quarters. Let me get my cutter out. Because we can always cut down. I'm about blind today. <laughs> Five and a half. By three or four and three quarters. I think I'm going to have to cut down a little bit more. I do believe. I think my measuring's off. Hmm. Let's try that again. Good thing I could still use that on another project. Um. For two and a half. So we're looking at six. And a half. Sorry about that, guys. this out. I'm just going to cut a little smidge both ways. because we don't want it to interrupt we want to leave a little space right there we don't want it to interrupt the and we still need a little bit of space Do that six and a. Let's do that six. <laughs> I 
and we need to go down a little bit more, do four and a quarter right here. Maybe too small. We'll make it work though. Let's get it right. Let's do six and what am I doing wrong? I need to eat something. My brain ain't working right. Six. I'm double check that. Still didn't measure out. We are going to get this right, and I'm going to have all these scraps to use on collagen. That's too long. Well, what we're going to do, let me make sure it fits this way. Yes, that's good. Okay, we're going to glue this down, and I'm just going to trim it with my scissors. But first, let's cut another one. And I want to do the back a little different. Let's see if I can find the other one that looked like. I really liked that page. I like them all, but that was my favorite.
I got all these for collaging. So y'all probably see these in some other projects to come. All right. Where is my bone folder? Here it is. We are going to put this, some glue on this. I would rather use a tape runner, but I do not have one currently. So we are going to use wet glue. I'm running low on supplies. Do this one on the front. Just move it out. So be gentle when you fold these uh, because they are such thick paper. You don't want them to uh, to tear and break. So be careful when folding. So I've got a bunch of these and I could make a uh, do a simile style. And these would be great to go like in a craft fair or on my Etsy. I could decorate the front of these real cute. Get my measurement right, of course. Tie a little twine around the front of them. Find me some um, rustic stickers. To decorate the front or just collage the front would be pretty. Let's see. Use my non uh, sticky scissors. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to take my corner rounder. And I'm going to round the corners. Perfect. I love that. Oh, how pretty. Oh, yes. These would be really pretty with, um, um, like collaging on the front and then, like I said, some twine around it. Oh, though, those would be so pretty. Okay. Let's do the back. Move my papers out of the way. Probably should have been wearing my glasses. Maybe I could have measured a little bit better, huh? <laughs> I don't know where they are right now. I think they're out in my van. Make sure my words are going the right way, and they are not. Good catch. Get that glue out good. Oops, got it some on there. Have to get my wipe and clean that up in a minute. So the six across was really good for these uh, notebooks. Um, I got. I'll try to get the measurement for um. 
going the the other direction for y'all. Oh, perfect. It looks like it's maybe a half an inch smaller. I was like going right in between it. And you gotta be careful with these notebooks, I've noticed, um, because like if you buy them at different, even buying them at the same store, they can sometimes be a little different in size on each one. Oh, those are so pretty. I really do. I, I, I really like this paper, so I'm giving it a very good review. I think these make really good projects. I'm going to corner punch this other side. And then I'm going to take some of my um, vintage photo distressed oxide. And I am going to take an ink around the edges. And I didn't get me any um, stuff to collage the front, but I think if you would collage the front of these, uh, like a little scene on the front, and um, put some twine on, these would be perfect if you have an Etsy shop or if you're doing a craft fair. I cut this a little shy. It would be um, just perfect to sell, you know, little cute notebooks. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you, um, I want to give you a, a, tell you thank you and shout out to all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I appreciate it so much. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be a part of my community. Um, I do have a Facebook group. If you haven't joined, I would love to invite you to join. It's fun. We share our creations on there and lift one another up. Um, um, it's Ash, um, Crafty Community Building on Facebook. I would love for you to join that. Um, also, um Join, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give a crafty giveaway, and I would love for you to be able to participate in that. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.